Hey there, you're watching Car Simplified, and in this video, I filmed these two light bulbs at 240 frames per second, which gave me the ability to slow this down and show you how much quicker an LED is to turn on than an incandescent bulb. To give you a better idea of what you're looking at here, I've got two light bulbs in front of one of my fill lights, so the background is lit. These two bulbs are powered by the same 12 volt power source and have a common ground, which I'm switching on and off with one single switch, which is just a fancy way of saying they're switched on and off at the same exact time. Normally these fill lights are fine at 30 or 60 frames per second, but at 240 frames per second, they were having some flicker issues, so I turned the contrast down to reduce that flicker. Put more simply, I made the dark areas lighter and the light areas darker, which just makes the colors more vibrant. But none of that changes how quickly these lights come on. You can see the LED comes on instantly when it's told to, and the incandescent bulb has to warm up when it's turned on and cool down when it's turned off. I used amber bulbs here because I thought it would look better than white, and I don't happen to have any red-coated incandescent bulbs. If I did have a red incandescent bulb, I would have used that because that represents the kind of bulb where this matters the most, brake light bulbs. With turn signals and interior bulbs, they're not all that necessary, they just look a little cooler. But with brake light bulbs, if you can get your light to come on that much faster and in a more startling manner, it alerts the driver behind you that you've hit the brakes that much sooner, and in an emergency situation, that can prevent a rear-end collision. This was a fun first slow motion video to film because the very, very first video I ever uploaded to this channel, it's gone now because its quality was terrible, but it was a comparison between an incandescent bulb and an LED bulb and the turn signals of my GTO. I didn't have the means to show the difference very well in a quality manner back then, so being able to do so now is pretty cool. Let me know how you feel about LEDs versus incandescent bulbs, and I'll see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching.